Yo, what's going on, everyone? Surround name nine five one here, bring you a uh, another review. So, if you guys watched uh, one of my recent videos, you guys know I got a Johnny Ridden Zaku two instead of a Johnny Ridden's Gelgoog that I ordered. And um, excuse me. And what happened was, contacted the seller. They were overseas in Japan. Told them what happened. They told me some pictures, so they could confirm. That uh, there was a, um, that there was a, the, the order was wrong basically. It was confirmed and they apologized and they basically just refunded me the money and that was it. So uh, I guess it's a good thing because, uh, well, I guess it's, it's a good thing for me, but a bad thing for them, you know. I mean, I feel sorry for them because, you know, the seller was really cool. He was just like, uh, you know, sorry about the inconvenience and uh, we deeply apologize and just refund the money. And usually what happens is, you know, especially through eBay, when this happens, they'll be like, oh, we could we could um, give you back your money, but you got to return the, the figure. But in this case, you know, they, they didn't even bother, you know, it was like, oh, here's a refund. So I kind of felt bad. And I told him, you know, if you guys do have the figure, the actual Johnny Ridden's Gelgoog, I'll still be interested in purchase, purchasing it because I do want a Johnny Ridden's Gelgoog in Messiah. Not the extended. There is there is an extended version of the, the Johnny Ridden's Gelgoog, but... um. I want just a regular MSI one, which is available, but you got to kind of look for it. <laughs> All right. So, um, so today, this, I'm going to just do an unboxing on this figure just to show you guys this because I was actually um, planning on getting one of these, but I wasn't planning too soon because I want to get an American release version first. And those are kind of hard to get since you have to get the... Um, the, the the mobile armor one where you have to get the big row to get the Johnny Renzaku 2 So I'm gonna just um, Get to opening it so I can show you guys what's up with this so uh, Yeah, all right, so Yeah, brand new in box looking good and uh I don't know. Yeah, I, I was kind of I was kind of surprised that they that they uh, refunded me. I, I thought they were going to be like, well, we could, but uh, you would have to return it. And then if they would have said for me to return it, I would have just been. I just would have said I would I would keep it because I was going to order one anyway in the future. I'm not sure how far, but basically, you know, it, minimum to ship anything overseas. It seems like it's going to cost you like around ten bucks or so for like basic, you know, no shipping, insurance, no tracking. I would think. Um, but yeah, so here he is. We just take him out of the box. The box is in pretty decent condition. I mean, I'm not big fans on the box, but I love Japanese release boxes because they can always be reused for a show or for anything. Very nice. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna just uh, take out all the accessories now. And one of the one of the accessories I always hate, I always dread taking out on these Japanese release Zaku's is the shield. Um, both for American release and uh, Japanese release, because when they put the the tape on the shields, usually the tape leaves like this nasty sticky residue, because you know the tape sticky, uh, as you know, and it's just real bad. Now surprisingly, this one didn't leave as bad as a. Residue. I mean, you can still see the marking from the tape, but uh, it's not sticky. That's kind of good. Just got the shield. It feels weird though. I I don't know. Like the the tape, it seems like it, it was already taken off, possibly. But uh, I mean, overall the figure looks pretty new to me. So I'm just happy the the tape's easy to take off. You know. <clears throat> so just got to take that off. The last part, which is this, and I, I usually just leave the, well, actually not, I'm going to take off, I was going to say I usually just leave the hands in there, but I, I, I just, uh, I take the closed fist off and, you know, well, I'll do that for later. So let me just take out all the accessories, including the figure, looking very nice, as always. Alright, so, move this to the side. All right, so like I said, guys, this is Johnny Ridden's Zaku 2 um, prototype, I guess, because there's like there's like three versions of this. Uh, there's the Shin Matsunaga, 
um, Zaku 2, and then you got the Black Tri Stars, and then there's Johnny Ridden's high mobility, but then, like, um, in comparison to the Black Tri Stars and Johnny Ridden's, this one gets, like, armored, uh, um, armored ankles or armor for his legs so you know when they shoot his leg they won't blow up since he has boosters on there so it's a very nice looking um figure and uh i'm gonna just turn off this light so we could get a better look at him um i i loved my johnny ridden zaku 2 american release when i got it it was it just looked fantastic and i really wanted another one and uh, I like the, the American release a little better because, you know, you get more insignias. Like, there's, like, a little unicorn emblem, I think, here. And then um, there's, like, a... You know, there's just more little decals and, and stuff on it that they put. But for the trade-off, you know, when you get the Japanese release, you get um, some decent, nice panel lining. Uh, it doesn't... I, I mean, it doesn't... Um, it makes it look okay. I mean, for me, it doesn't make a big difference on this figure, the panel lining. It kind of just adds a bit of niceness, especially that that like white panel lining in the black. But um, overall, it's pretty cool. Got those new joints. Yep. So he's never been. Uh, this guy's brand new. He's never been played with or anything, or possibly taken on the box, but never really broken in. So that's good to know. Let me just uh, turn his waist real quick. Well, yep. Yeah, this guy's brand new, so that's good. And uh. I would have got this guy for 20 bucks, but I didn't order this guy. I ordered the Gelgoog, and again, they sent me the Zaku 2, and that's not what I ordered. So, uh, you know, fortunately, the, you know, <clears throat> the seller did compromise with me, and he just uh, gave me a refund, so that was nice. Um, I'm a little worried, though. Let me see here. Yeah. This happened to my last figure, uh, my Johnny, I mean, not my Johnny, Shimatsunaga. So what happens is sometimes the the molds and the legs are kind of bad. These ones aren't as bad, but they are not as good as they should be. Um, as you can see, what happens is the molds aren't like uh, made correctly, so the legs easily come out. So I could just push this leg in and it'll pop out. And that's because, yep, that's because when they made this hole, what they were supposed to do is make a place where the ball joint could rest. So basically they make the hole and then inside this hole, they make another little hole and uh, within the little hole inside the hole, <laughs> the, the ball joint's able to rest and, uh, you know, you're able to swivel the leg without it, you know, popping out. Basically, it's just a place for where this ball joint could catch and stay in there while having or well, giving it the articulation. Um, the right leg isn't so bad. Uh, it still comes out. I mean, the left, the, yeah, the right leg's not so bad. Um, there's a bit, yeah, they, they made a bit of a little hole for the ball joint to rest on the right leg. But on the left leg, it doesn't look like it. But, um, I mean, I can't complain. The figure was free after all, so, yeah. I mean, for this side, it's, it's hardly noticeable that there is a anywhere for the ball joint to really rest but I mean overall it's a it's, it's a nice figure I like it um I mean he, he'll be okay but yeah pretty cool so I mean <clears throat> overall compared to your regular Zaku 2s his his ankles have a lot of um flexibility a lot of room for f um, moving around if you have a regular Zaku 2 you know that the armor around the leg gets in the way but for these uh, high mobility units like Shin Matsunaga's, Black Tri Stars, and Johnny Rins, they uh, um, due to the mod or the way that they made the ankle, there's a lot more um, flexibility in there now. Uh, shoulders are still the same. You know, you got your regular Zaku One shoulders. Seems to be a little bit more wiggle room there, but it's not as good as the Zaku Ones, of course. And uh, this is the Japanese release, so you know you're missing a couple emblems and insignias. You got 402 there, and all that good stuff. But overall, a nice figure. There's a high mobility backpack, so he could go flying like crazy, and uh, just a nice looking figure overall. And now let's let's go over accessories. You get a uh, graphite black Zakuto machine gun, really nice. I love how they do the paint jobs on these. They just look they look too clean. It's crazy. Yeah, very nice, brand new. Um, Get that. 
you get your standard heat hawk very nice uh very clean just looks really awesome and for the high mobility units except shin matsunagas basically just johnny rins and the black tristars you get this custom hyper bazooka i mean this thing is huge this is what the the um the doms use and i love this bazooka it's just so bulky and mean looking i mean it looks like it just it could just destroy a, a GM, uh, yeah, a GM in one shot or something. You know, it's just it's a really aggressive looking bazooka, and it's really nice. And uh, <clears throat> let me just show you. So if you look at this bazooka right here, well, oh, let me bring, bring the other one in comparison. If you see this bazooka right here, that's Shin Matsunaga's. I actually stole that from my <clears throat> um, from my Shin Matsunaga that I had earlier this year. And that's also his machine gun. But as you can see, that's the that's the bazooka you get with Shin Matsunaga. And then here's the one you get <laughs> with um, Johnny Ridden. So you can see the big difference in firepower. I mean, this thing is it's just huge. So it's very awesome that um, <clears throat> you get this huge bazooka. And, uh, it's, it's it's just really, I, I don't know, this is one of my favorite weapons for the Gundams. Or for the for the Federation. No, oh my god. For the Zakus. Um... Or in general for the Xeon, it's just a nice looking bazooka and it's it's really it looks devastatingly nasty. And of course you get three hands or five together, you get two closed fists, which are on the figure, you get two heat hawk hands, and you get one trigger finger for your bazooka and Zaku machine gun. And that's about it guys. So I'll just give you a look at back of the box show you what i'm talking about so, so there's um shimatsunagas and i have one brand new in box actually and uh i might do a review on him later on um here's johnny riddens and for some reason they didn't do the colors that the guns are actually they come in so i don't know maybe it stands out more you can see and you can see the difference with the leg armor only johnny riddens has the leg armor right here and then Shin Matsunagas doesn't have any leg armor, just the leg boosters and the black tri stars as well. Um, shows you the weapons. You can see the differences with them, and uh, you can see how they all look. It's really cool. You can see here Shin Matsunaga, and he only has a little bazooka, while um, Johnny Rins has the hyper bazooka, which looks freaking dirty. Yeah. So that's about it guys. That's Johnny Ridden Zaku 2 Japanese release. Not a bad figure, but I do kind of like I do prefer the American release better for at least some for some I don't know for me I like it a little better, but nonetheless a very nice figure um, If you could I would recommend picking one up um, like I said uh, Cheapest way to buy this guy would be Amazon all day. I mean you could look up <clears throat> um MS in action, Zaku MS in action. You'll come up with a bunch of figures, and uh, they like you're going to find just basically Japanese release, but they're going to be at terrific prices in my opinion. And for me, twenty dollars is a sweet spot for buying figures brand new box. So I mean, you're going to be able to find like Shin Matsunagas, Johnny Riddens, um, Black Tri Stars for like under twenty bucks. Um, you know, you just like Amazon. I like it. The only thing is you guys got, um, if, if you guys are willing to put up the weight, you know, you could get some really good figures like a camp for Japanese release, a brand new in box for 20 bucks. But the only thing is, you know, if you could, um, that's, that's for free shipping and then free shipping takes like about three to four weeks. And if you can't wait that long, then there's the EMS expedited, which will take like around a week or less, but it's going to cost you like, like at least minimum of ten dollars for that kind of shipping option so i hope this i mean i hope this review kind of helped um really like it i'll probably post that shin matsunaga up next because I, I feel like doing some reviews today and yeah guys so that's about it hope you enjoyed the the video and uh, hope to see you guys on my next video till then peace